My books all have a very specific message. And in the beginning, I did all those uh, books on, on animals which are despised. I did on rat, octopus, bat, snake, to, to show that even if you are despicable, even if you are no good, if you can do something, if you can achieve, you are what you make. You are what you do and you are what you think. You'll find this is in all my children's books. There's always an elephant or an element of practical jokes because I always want to show children how to make fun of the adults. I love to give the proper name to what I see. In the three robots, I'm using a word like a blunderbuss. Isn't that wonderful? Why say a gun? And children love new books. And I say always for children, never use the word tree or bird or flower. You say, this is a daisy, this is a forget-me-not, isn't that lovely, a forget-me-not? And then later in life you don't say a stone, you say, this is granite, this is pegmatite, this is a mycoschist, this is uh, all that. The words, the, every word is a poem, is, is part of a possible poem. I did books like uh, the book of collages of things to do, and then uh, suddenly I started doing children's books again, but for the very purpose of carrying, uh, really carrying a message. Now I would say that Otto as a book is truly autobiographical, which means I would not have been able to do this book if I hadn't lived through certain things and if I didn't want to pass a certain message. This book is about the trauma of the war, and this is why one with a book like this one has to traumatize children to make them aware. One cannot underestimate children and their capacity of understanding. And if you don't come with stories like this, how are you going to bring up the awareness of children? And that's why most likely this book is used in, in the French schools. I don't think Adelaide has a does it have a message? Yes, she's different because she can. She was born with wings. I mean, uh, I wouldn't. As the absurd in these books is her wings are much too small to carry the weight of a kangaroo, so already there. When I do a, a, a story, I have basically the idea, and then I scribble. I scribble in what I have in my head, the basic thing. Sometimes I don't have the end. And then I start writing. And with the writing, then things are coming together. This is why, actually, if you look in children's book classics and all that, all the, the great books have been, have been written and illustrated by the same person. This is the ideal symbiosis. This is the greatest luxury in the world, to be able to, to write and to draw.